Hey everybody, welcome to the Black Shoe Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last build, we went video game when we built Batman's Line Launcher from Arkham City. Uh, and if you missed that build, we're going to include the link to our channel's homepage in the description below so you can go over there and check out Line Launcher or any of the other cool builds we have there. But for this build, we're actually going to stay video game. So without further ado, Black Sheep Props would like to introduce you to the newest member of the family. <laughs> Dig that, man. It is the Viper. One of the Vipers from Ratchet & Clank. Check that thing out, man. Super cool. Big and chunky and everything has square edges. We didn't Dremel any edges. We dremeled the handle, but the rest is all square, because that's the style. Um, look at that thing. Uh, multiple colors. We've got tons of edges. We had to build up a lot of pieces to get this big, chunky thing. A lot of angles, a lot of recesses, little cavities. Um, really fun. This was really fun. Very cartoony. Um, so. In this episode, Making an EVA Foam Viper Part 1, we're going to begin going step by step through how to make this chunky monkey. Um, and if you want to build one for yourself, we've got a template for this thing too. So we'll go ahead and include the link to our storefront in the description below. And you can go there and pick up a template if you want. Um, if not, that's cool too. Uh, so if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. All right, here we go. We're going to begin our Viper by doing our centerpiece. Now there's going to be stuff built on top of this and there's going to be stuff built below it. So here's our centerpiece and then these are going to be our two wings that are going to come off of here. And we're going to... All right, there we go, just like that. Now we're going to all right, there's our two pieces. We're going to be cementing these down to the six millimeter piece, but we're gonna put a detail on here first. Before we... Okay, now we've got our wood burner ready to go. We've got our dust mask on because this is burning plastic. You do not wanna be breathing this in, so make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. I have a shop fan off to the side that blows the fumes away so they're not going up my nose. Um, with the same speed the same pressure so that the line is consistent and right to there all right all right there we go two of them looking good really easy just take your time use the same speed and pressure and you can nail it All right, there we go. Give it a few minutes to dry. All right, there we go. We've got this cool wood burn detail and we've got this little step down right here. Now we're gonna transfer our pattern over and cut these out. Trace around both. Okay, now we're going to take this floor piece and it's going to have an angled cut on both sides and we want the angled cut on these two sides to match up with the bottom angle cuts on these sides. So, Okay, now what we're going to do to cut this bevel is this is the edge of our piece right here. You can see it on both. We're going to make a mark all the way through our foam using our X-Acto knife. All right, so it poked out the other side. Careful not to stick through your finger. And I'll show you. Here's our mark right here and here. And then on this side, here and here. All right, there. And we're going to go straight through on an angle like that. All right. We're going to tip our knife just a little bit and we're going to go right through like that. All right, there we go, check that out. That's nice, beautiful bevel right there on both pieces. You saw how we did that. We made the mark through it, flipped it over and beveled it. Really easy. Okay, now we're gonna take this floor piece and we're gonna be doing a bevel cut down both sides and a straight cut here. So we'll go ahead and make our 
straight cut first. Just like that. All right, now on our template, we show the side view of this piece so you know what angle to cut it on. There's our piece with our beveled edges. Now we're right there and right there. All right, now we know what angle we have to cut this on. At about that angle. For that corner. Just like that. All right, there we go. Dig it. All right. Okay, now the reason we cut all these angles, we cut the bevels on the bottom of these pieces and the bevels here is because of this. Is when we stand this up, this angle, when we stick this to the side, that's going to give us a flush bottom right here. And the same thing on this side. When we stick this down, we're going to have a flush bottom so we can stick this down. But then when you look at it from the front, the wings both have the identical angle on them. And that's why we did that. So when we put our line our front up, right here. See how we have a little bit of an overhang right there? We're going to knock that overhang off just like that. Another little overhang right there. All right. Okay, now when we line this corner up, look at that. That is perfect. See? Crazy perfect. All right, make our mark. And then we're just gonna line this up all the way down, flush with our piece. Look at that, that is perfect. Here's our front point, and we are spot on. And now, just like that. There we go, look at that. Now it's gonna sit flat down on the table like that. That is exactly why we took the time to cut the angles that we cut. So now our wings have the exact same angle on them. Look at that. All right, so we transferred our pattern over to our super thick two inch piece of foam. Okay, now we have this second piece of template. All right, this is exactly where our cut needs to be, right there. Perfect. All right. There we go. We're going to seal this real quick just to tighten it up. Alright, there we go. Look at that. Nice and tightened up and smooth. Alright, now we've got one and coming in about one and three eighths. So we're gonna make a line there. Our bottom mark down here, like so. We've got our marks drawn on here, so this will be super easy. We're just going to line it up and line it up. All right, now this is going to start getting super solid right now because we've got some pretty thick foam we're attaching together. All right, there we go. Wow, look at that thing. Okay, so now we're going to start building the front part of the big assembly that's going to go here on top. And we've gonna, we're going to have to stack up a bunch of thicknesses of foam for this. We've got a 2 inch, which is 48 millimeter. And then here we're going to have to get even thicker. We've got a 2 inch, 48 millimeter, and a half inch, which is 12 millimeter. So a 48 and a 12 we're going to stick together. And here we've got the 48. Just so now. Give it a few minutes, let it dry, and then we make contact. 
All right, now we're going to cut these out so they're nice and square, and then we're gonna take side patterns and transfer side patterns over so we can make our cuts. All right, there's our side pattern. We're gonna cut this out on the bandsaw. All right, there we go, just like that. Check it out, cool. All right. Okay, now we're gonna transfer our marks over to the bottom. And this is right there. Okay, there's our line that we can follow, or two lines we can follow when we go through the bandsaw. See that? Tapers. And then we've got our side cut. Really? Now we're gonna do the same thing here. We're going to cut this out first so we've got nice square edges. Then we're gonna transfer two side patterns to this and do the same thing. All right, we're gonna transfer our marks over just like that. All right, let's make those cuts. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna be tilting our table on our bandsaw so we can get these cuts. But what we're going to do is we're going to continue our line right over to the top. All right, there we go, look at that sweet taper. Now we've got these two little angles to knock off. So we're gonna transfer our lines over to the side just like oops markers drying up all right there we go let's go cut it all right there we go look at that we've got these tapers and then we've got these two little subtle ones at the bottom now we've done all that so that we can bring this in and attach it right there to the top just like that and that is going to be sweet we're a hair off on the back but we can trim this edge just a tiny bit so that's kind of the contraption that we wanted just like that really cool flush as we can. Oh, that's nice. All right, there we go. Look at that thing, man. That's insane. We're going to take a couple seconds. We're going to get out our 220 sanding stick. And we're gonna... All right, we're transferring these little lines just like that. And then just to about there. We've got this mark that goes across the front and around the side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our wood burner to burn a groove right there. So let's heat up our wood burner. Okay, now we're gonna get our dust mask on real quick. Just like that. We're gonna match right up to our end. And we're gonna go right through just like that. And we're gonna stop at our line. We've got our grooves that go around the front and then they bend around both sides. All right, now we're ready to stick. But what we wanna do as well is we want the back of this to stick to the front of this piece. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna get a bunch of super glue down on here. Now we're going to come in and we're going to put it right up against it and we're going to slide it down because it's super glue and it gives us a minute or two till it sets up. All right, there we go. Now we're stuck down to the base and we're stuck back against here with our super glue. All right, see how we did that? Big and chunky. Okay, now we transferred this little pattern over, we're going to cut these two pieces out. And this is simple stuff, so we're going to use the exacto, and we're going to just like that. It's our letter E, and we did.
That's really cool. All right, let's hit this side now. Right. Ooh. Normally I don't do this without gloves on. I risked it this time and I almost just stuck my fingers together. So I won't. Propping tip number 2001. Do not mess with super glue without gloves on because man, you do not want your fingers sticking together. That would stink. I don't want to be a permanent part of my prop. All right, there you go. Look at that. Nice detail on both sides. Really cool. All right, now we have these tiny little strips cut that we're going to connect across the top. So let's move this. Put it down there and hold it while it bonds. Not terrible. All right, this thing's coming along. All right, here we go. Here's an 18 millimeter piece of foam for part of our front detail. All right, there we go. There's the front cut. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to transfer All right, there we go. We've got our angles and we've got our cut right. All right, just like that. This whole area and this whole area. All right, there we go. We contact cemented both pieces. Give it a couple minutes. That was it. A little super glue on the bottom and contact cement to contact cement. All right, here's our pieces that are going to make up our barrel. We've got a 12 millimeter here for kind of like our collar, our base collar. And then over here, we're going to attach these two because we need a 24 and a 12 to get the thickness that we want. So pivot right around our circle. All right, there we go. Just like that. that e we're gonna line this up so that our circles pretty much line up, sort of just like that. All right, so now we're gonna come in and we're gonna cut this part of our template out. Now we're gonna make a second mark, just like that. Now we're gonna cut this on the bandsaw with a taper. We want the sides tapered, so we're gonna be tilting our table and following this line around. All right, here we go. We have our scroll saw table slightly tilted at the angle we want so that we can cut our slight bevel cut around our barrel. Beautiful, slight taper, just a slight taper. All right, so we're gonna cut just to the outside of our Sharpie line. All right, there we go. We stayed just outside of our line. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip that around and we're gonna bring this in. And it's... Give it a couple minutes. There it is, there's our collar with the edges. Line our mark up at the top, just like that. Now let's come around to the other side and make sure we're in a good spot. And we are. <laughs> That's cool, love it. Okay, now what we're gonna do is this. The piece of foam that we cut out of the middle of this piece, we're gonna wedge right back in there, but we're gonna leave it sticking out a little bit like that. But what we wanna do first is we wanna come in with our brass tube that we sharpened, and we wanna line this up. Let's make sure we're kinda right in the center. Looks like we are. And we're gonna put it down, and we're going to spin right through Look at that. Man, that went through like butter. Holy smokes. Perfect circle. Now when we come in and we wedge this in place, we're gonna leave it sticking out a little bit like that and it's gonna have the hole in the front. Really cool. All right. Now we're gonna come in. 
squeeze it closed like that so that the sides make contact all the way around. Now we'll get our squeeze out off of here. All right, there we go. Look at that. Nice. A barrel with a little bit of an extended piece. Okay, now we're going to begin assembling the piece that goes right in the middle here. And these are our pieces. We've got a couple four millimeters and an 18 millimeter. We're going to... All right, there we go. There's both of them. Now we've got our dots there in place. That is going to be for our wood burned lines. Now what I like to do is start my line. When I get to the end, I go back the other direction just real quick at the end. So I get a nice clean ending. Watch this. Get to the end and then go backwards just a little bit. That way it doesn't pull out of the edge and kind of like burn the edge at all. Really cool. We want to line up really flush with our edge, just like that. And that. Beautiful. All right, there we go. Perfect. Our opening is just short of two and an eighth. So now, just like that. There's our mark. Go right through like that. Like that. That's a tight little piece right there. Now we're gonna come in, and this is going to slide right down here real snug like that. Now this is one and three eighths inch deep. So now. All right, there's our marks right there. All right, because we want a perfect 90 degree on both of these cuts, we're gonna hit these on the bandsaw real quick. Really sweet, all right. There's our center. All right, there we go. We've got all three sides in there cemented, and we've got the three sides here cemented. Let's let it dry, and then we're going to have to be really careful sticking it down. All right, here we go. Now, this could be total disaster. We're going to have to pull this apart because we've got to really wedge this in here. So we're going to pull this in here. All right, let's try that. Get our super glue down in that gap right there. Hold it while it bonds. Perfect. Pretty nice. Wow. That's got a lot of stuff going on in it. Okay, now we're going to begin building the back handle to our Viper. And we're going to take these two pieces a 24 and a 6 millimeter. We're going to attach them together. We're going to... Press this down. Okay, there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this shape out. Then when we're done cutting this shape out, we're going to come in with our... with this side template and we're going to transfer it to the side and make that cut. All right, there we go. We did our top cut, and then we rolled it over and transferred our template and did that end cut. And the reason we did that is because this is going to come in and it's gonna live right here on this angle. Look at that, perfect. We're gonna be rounding this end off. We're gonna be taking off all this material. So we're gonna get the Dremel out and we're going to have at it.
All right, there we go. Look at that, man. That is nice. And also, look at that. That's why we always say, don't be a dumb dumb, man. Do not Dremel without your dust mask on because you do not want all this inside you. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and tip this up. Let's cut these little these little corners off where it's kind of curving up, just like that. All right, let's get this thing heat sealed. Cool, look at that. It looks a little bit like a foam Twinkie. Jamming. That is. All right, there we go. Give it a couple minutes. Make sure we get good contact up against the back of this piece. And then we want to make good contact right on this hip back here. All right, there we go. All right, there we go, just like that. Look at that, fits in there perfect, and up against the back of here, perfect. And there is where our handle's gonna come out of, right there. Cool. There you go, that easy. Uh, you saw how we assembled the whole the whole top section of this thing uh, from the barrel all the way back to this piece that the handle is going to attach to. Um, and you saw it's the same stuff we always do. A lot of layering up, a lot of, of cementing together before we make our cuts. Um, but not hard, man. You can totally nail this thing. A uh, long way to go still. Um, but that was it. That uh, concludes making an EVA foam Viper Part 1. Hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.